Hello and welcome. My name is Trish. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create an easy dispersion effect. Stay tuned. If this is your first time on my channel, I would like you to take a minute. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. You don't want to miss any of my up and coming tutorials. It's fun and it's exciting and I would really like you to come back to get more. So to begin, I went ahead to cut out my subject. So if I turn off my subject, you can see that my subject has no background and I have already set a background color to it. So the first thing we are going to do is click on our layer and I'm going to create a duplicate and I'm going to name the duplicate Disperse. And I'm going to bring my Disperse effect layer below. So with that set, what we are going to do is click on our Disperse effect. I'm going to go to Filter and then choose Liquify. And what we're going to do is stretch one side of our subject. So I'm just going to pick up, this is the forward walk tool. So with that selected, I'm just going to stretch our image to fill this area or the side of the subject. So now, as we can see, we do have these two layers, one with our subject and the other layer is our subject, but is distorted. So what we're going to do is to add a layer max to both of these layers. And the first layer, I'm just going to add a white layer max. But for the second layer, I'm going to add a black layer max by clicking on my Alt and then click on my layer max. So we are going to pick up our brush tool and I'm going to click on my uh, layer, which is the man, which is the subject. I want to make sure that my foreground is black and um, I like the size of my brush. I'm just going to increase it just a little. You can choose whichever brush you want to create the effects that you need. I guess something is e eaten up the, the subject. And you want to make sure that your foreground color is the same as your background so that it sort of blends in. And that's the whole concept. You don't want to choose a different color, otherwise it wouldn't look right. I'm going to now go back to my Disperse effect layer. And now what we want to do is to reveal what has been hidden. So I'm going to make sure that I choose my foreground color as white. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on the layer that says Disperse, the layer max. And now before I paint, I'm, I'm going to increase my brush head just a little. And now I'm just going to, so we can reveal some of what is hidden beneath. And I want to keep the dense area close to the subject. And as it goes beyond, we have this um, light and loosely dispersed um, effect. And now to complete it, what I normally do is I'm going to go back and choose my black and I'm just going to paint in between to get rid of some of the exposed area that I really don't need. I want to have this faded effect as you move away from our subject. I like what we have. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on both layers and create a group. 
I want to create a final image out of these layers. And to do that, you're just going to press Shift, Control, Alt, E, and it will generate a final image for you. Now, what I want to do is to add a little bit more intensity or richness to our final image. So I'm going to click on that layer and I'm going to go to Filter and then choose Camera Raw Filter. And that will be my final touches to complete our image. There you have it, folks. This is the final image. I really like the fact that you can create a final image out of all your layers, and then you can use the camera raw filter to sort of finish it off by increasing either the contrast or the shadows or increase the intensity of the colors by using your hue or the saturation. I really like how it came out. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful and insightful. If you did like this tutorial, please like, comment, and also subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.